eight, four hours ago, there was nothing here at all. So we're very lucky, very lucky indeed. What's the World Bowling Championships? So it started 12 years ago on Exmoor, and it was basically a bet between two guys in the Rock House Inn in Dulverton. One bet the other that he could get the stag to answer him back. So off they went. And it's kind of gone from there. So Phil Ferris, who was one of the guys involved, unfortunately passed away. So this event was established really to raise money for the Devon Air Ambulance and in memory of Phil. Try your luck bowling at the stag, he's going well. Richard is master of ceremonies of this magnificent event that promises to stop you getting stuck in a rut. Who judges it? We've got five local guys that judge it, guys that know their deer and are obsessed with their deer. So they listen to everyone, they listen to the stag that's coming back at them and they deem what's a good authentic bowl. Here's a competitor. Well, I got taught by a very close friend of mine and um, basically we come out when the rut starts and just go around looking for where the deer are and then just go out and try calling. And I've been lucky to have a few call back. Um, had quite a few close encounters as well, but no, it's, it's just the, the adrenaline, I think, just hearing a stag roar. This is Daniel's first time. Some here are old hands. So you've done this before? I have, yes, a few times, yeah. Um, i come second on a couple of occasions, so hopefully tonight might be my night. But um, there's a few people here I've not seen before, so they might be dark horses. <laughs> I think it's it's the it's the depth. It's a low it's a low tone and like a uh, guttural sound. If you can get that the more guttural, the better. I think. So you want huge sinuses? I think so. Yeah, or, or deep deep from the from the bottom of the chest. I've heard uh, I've heard the noise being described as something cross between a chainsaw and a cow mooing. So if you can get that, then you're doing all right. <laughs> the judges have a clear idea about what they want. To me, a bowling champion is basically the most authentic person to sound like a stag. Are you, are you looking at them or are you looking at the stag for the reaction? What I'm, no, I'm not looking for any reaction from the deer whatsoever. It's basically the most authentic person that I think sounds stag bold. Well, let the championships begin. The final arguments over who made the best noise take place at the crowded Rock House Inn in Delverton. I'd say it's a record year to be honest. I think we, you know, we're close to 300 people up there tonight. So um, 51 people entered, including the juniors. We've never had that amount enter before. Yeah, so what do you reckon? Do you reckon you're about to no, too high. Too high. Uh, my what voice was too high. What about you? Uh, no, I, I think I got all the body body control actions wrong, completely wrong. It's all in the body, isn't Yeah, it? I think so, yeah. It's come right down from below and then up, isn't it? And the winner is... Vaughan. So what did the judges like about him? Um, he was more guttural in the way he evolved uh, um, like there's a lot of people that thought you just go a shake of a stag and they weren't it wasn't going from basically it was just a shake Vaughan had it he really had that sort of well that sound a clearly emotional Winnie there, ending our coverage of the 2015 Championship. Find out more about the competition in future years on the Exmoor National Park website. <laughs>